So if you're in class with me, you've probably seen me use GeoGebra to uh, model parametric equations and things moving around. So I'm going to try to show you how to create one on your own in case you uh, want to or you're interested. Uh, first thing we're going to do is make a slider. So that's uh, this right here. So click on it and click anywhere. Uh, I'm going to call it T. And then um, you can set your uh, minimum, which I'll make 0, and your maximum, which I'll make uh, 10, and the increment. And we can change all that later if we want to. So apply, it shows up there. Um, if you go over here to the selection tool, you can drag it back and forth and see it move. If you want to change it, you can um, double click it and type in something or, um, yeah, or right click it and object properties and change whatever you need. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, write a parametric equation. So the way that's handled here is we call it a curve and um, a bunch of things pop up, options for what you can do. You probably can't see them because they're not in the record window, but when I press enter, they all pop up. So the first thing I need is an expression for x. So let's say uh, negative 3 plus uh, 2. I'm going to use v here because t is going to be the upper bound. Um, and let's say uh, negative 2 plus uh, 3 v. Let me make this over 10 so that it... Uh, takes the full slider to do what I need it to. Uh, the parameter, so since I use V there, I'm going to type a V. I'm going to have it start at 0, um, and I'm going to have it end at T, whatever T is. So I'll press Enter. Um, my equation shows up here, which it actually kind of simplifies for you in the event that it can. Um, and now if I uh, move this, you can see the curve. And it turns out that I wrote something that goes from uh, negative 3, negative 2, all the way to negative 1, 1. Very exciting. Um, so another thing that I do often is I, I put a point right at the end of the curve so that you can uh, watch the point move. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm, the curve you can see is called A. So I'm going to do A, and then it's a function of T. So A of T. And when I do that, the point shows up. So I see that point right there, um, and I can move it back and forth like that. Um, one of the other things that I do sometimes is um, I change the, the T min or the T max, um, and then try to link the uh, slider to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type T min, no, T max, let's say, T max, and I'll set it equal to uh, 14 for right now. And then if I double, if I uh, right click on the slider and go to properties, now I can change the maximum to be T max. Press enter, close this. Um, now if I grab this and slide it, it can go all the way to 14. Um, so this is just to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do if you're uh, kind of clever enough. And obviously we could set the minimum, set the maximum. Um, what I do is I use these... Uh, these input boxes sometimes um, to allow you to just uh, enter things on your own. So T max equals um, and then linked object here. I would want it to link to T max. So apply and you can see right now it's 14. But now if I change this to uh, six, you can see that the slider just changed and now has a maximum of six. Um, so that's the kind of thing that I do with these, and uh, it should give you an idea of how to kind of get started working with them, and uh, I hope you find that kind of helpful.